Mindhunter Season 1, Episode 1. What are my thoughts? T- to be honest, there's not too much to say about the show other than I like it. Um, usually shows, <laughs> reviews that I do for shows, even episode reviews, usually more lengthy, the more critical stuff I have to say. Um, but I'm trying to go in the more positive route, so that's my general impression. I like the show. I like the idea that is introducing us to. That this is a show that analyzes the serial killer mindset, the the kind of mental illness behind it, um, if you will. The way the show starts, I remember actually seeing a snippet of the very start of of episode one, maybe. I don't want to say last year, not last year, but a long time ago, or maybe more than a year ago, at least, maybe two years ago or more. I forget when. Um, but I didn't see how the the intro for episode one ended. The way it ended was like, oh wow, and I loved that. As the show goes on, you start to realize this is not just. <clears throat> trying to analyze the psychology behind certain types of killers and certain types of murderers. But this main character, um, I don't know his name. And to be honest, I I don't really care that I don't know his name. What he does is more interesting than knowing his his name to me. I'm sure I'll I'll find out as time goes on. But the the unique selling point of the show is, to me, just like the mental, the mindset behind these type of, people who do these type of murders i love it yeah I, it 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 makes me jealous because i don't know how many of these shows are kind of or are up there but we just don't see them advertised as well because of various popular uh cult, pop culture uh, movies and tv shows that are out at the moment but I've always heard about this, and that's why I watched it. It's always been on my list of things to watch. And yeah, specifics. Again, it's not too much to say on this show. I've, um, I. Oh, what, what what can I say that's specific about this show? Okay, yeah, I'll just thought of something. The main character is very clear. This show. Is trying to. That's maybe like one critique I have on the show. It's very clear because the main character is an FBI agent. This show, I don't know if this was reflective of the actual errors in, but it feels like the writers of the show are very aware of how the FBI is perceived, especially with respects to people who have different ideological views to the status quo in society. Uh, pe- people who are less fortunate, minorities, so, such and such. It's very clear how the writers of the show um, perceive the FBI, and it feels like they're using this character to try and disarm you constantly. But you don't need to do that, because to me, whether this the main character is a nice guy or not, I know the legacy of the FBI. It's not going to change that for me. If I watch a James Bond movie and I like James Bond in the movie, it's not going to change what he is at the end of the day. A guy who's like a state-sanctioned killer for an arm of something that's, I imagine historically, MI6 brushed some stuff on under the carpet, I imagine, in a similar way to the CIA and all that jazz, right? And it feels in this show like a, there's a very oh I'm 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 woke I'm aware that you know the FBI was involved in infiltrating this stuff in the black community or this stuff with the anti-war movement. It did, yeah, there were various points in the show where it's more of a nitpick, but I'm aware that they're trying to change the image of this character as an FBI agent to encourage us to see him as someone who just wants to help. And again, I see the guy's intent regardless, but you don't need to do that. You don't need to disarm me 
about the FBI. I'm going to think a certain type of way about the FBI. Regardless, a lot of people are going to think the same thing. And that's maybe like a one nitpicky critique I have about the first episode of this show. But other than that, like I said, I like where this is going. Maybe another critique I have is that um, because it's it's implied that the main character, instead of doing more jobs where he deals with killers who have mental health issues, serial killer type scenarios, instead of doing that and dealing that practically, it's going to be more analysing behind the scenes, analysing the theory behind it. And I want there to be a mix where there are scenes where him and a colleague of his, who was great, who was also introduced in the show, um, are talking about, are, are trying to learn more about the theories behind why certain killers behave the way they do, whether it's mental illness, whether it's environmental factors, uh, or a mix of both, as well as handling the situations uh, practically being in the thick of it having situations where they're called on a job to negotiate a hostage situation, do such and such, make sure a killer's being stopped, help on certain cases actively, right? And uh, that's that's another not so critique of, actually is a bit of this episode. Um, it's a, a little bit of another nitpicky critique, but I wanted to be more of a mix between practical work in the field and the theory behind it and doing like the detective work it wasn't even detective work more like uh the, the show trying to educate us on the psychology i want there to be a mix between those two things i i don't want it to just be oh let's talk about why so-and-so killer in the past did so-and-so thing no don't don't just i'm not here to watch a documentary i'm here to watch a show and I do want to be entertained. And part of that entertainment is watching. As much as it's interesting to take it more serious, the serial killer aspect uh, and the, the mental illness or other factors behind it. In an educational sense, if I wanted to do solely that, I would watch a documentary. You see what I mean? And I want to watch some education on it as well as some field work on it. So that's kind of a nitpicky-ish critique of this first episode. Assuming they don't follow that, assuming they don't do a mix of the two. But I, I don't know yet. So far, yes, I'm excited to watch more episodes of Mindhunter. Um, I'm definitely going to do a season one review at some point in the next week or so. And other than that, I don't... Again, guys, I love this show so far it's based on my first impression of the pilot episode and i have nothing much more to say on it so tell me your thoughts down below um have you seen the show if you have do you like it what do you like about it if you haven't seen the show would you watch it like i said tell me your thoughts down below like share subscribe for more other than that guys signing off salute